Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life, and I want to talk to you about uh, getting your art and your life to be the same or more aligned. And this is something that is really cool because because when you do uh, the art, your art gets amazing, and it it, it also doesn't feel so. It, you it just has more momentum. I struggled with this a lot, and uh, I remember. I would be making, I used to put all this detail in my work and it was just something that I knew how to do. I learned how to do that. And I rendered a lot of things and I subsequently just took a lot of time to, to do this. And, and people always loved it though. And they were really impressed. I, I used to do all these birds in my pictures and I'd look at a photograph and I'd copy it. And it was, I just put all this time into it. The problem was um, after a while, I didn't really, I wasn't really into like, I'm not a very patient person and I don't like spending a ton of time making the art or spending so long on one thing. I like to, I'm more like looser actually. And I like to move through a lot of things. That's, that's what I actually enjoy. But I felt like I couldn't because I wanted to make sure everyone knew I was confusing the fact that if I, well, I spent all this time on it, um, that, that then the price was justified and I was creating value and, who wouldn't want to want this because I've worked so hard at it. I had that, that thing around if it's, if I've worked really hard on this, it's got to be worth this much. And, and it just, it made me feel comfortable. But the problem was I was in two, the way I am and the way my work was, was kind of going in two different directions. And I postponed and postponed and postponed and kept doing what everyone wanted, even though it was kind of rubbing me the wrong way because it wasn't really aligned. And once I did switch over and started paying attention to both, that's, that's when things really took off. Now I did lose a lot of people that uh, only wanted a certain kind of work, but I found a lot of people that were more interested in the kind of work that I wanted to do. And not that either one of them is wrong. It's just, it's only wrong if you're doing the kind of work that doesn't fit with you. And it's so easy to get in this rut because we're changing. You know, what you did two years ago was perfect. And then we keep doing it because it's so damn hard to get success. And maybe, you know, people are responding and you're getting this thing going and you hold on to this. But it might be a good time if you get a hunch to, to look at this. And what I'm talking about is, is its coherence. And this is really, really cool. Having your life, having what you do and what you say align with the things you make and the things you desire to make and the things you desire to create in your life, just all your creativity, everything's aligned. And it makes for a really powerful, sustainable kind of art. It also is a, a current art that is, that is very authentic because that's where you are actually in the present. You're not basing it on years, you know, the things you were doing five years ago or the things that have always worked. Um, so how I like to do this or think about it is that I like to look at my life and sometimes we don't even have everything the way we want it. Usually not, but the desired life, right? The desired state you want to be, what you want to have in your life. Like I just made all this stuff up, but you know, if you love hiking, if you, if you, you know, I love having free time. I might not have that much, but that's what I want. That's my desired life that I want to have. I want to do more working out. I love being able to feel calm, even though I got a lot of stuff going on. So that's really important to me to have that spaciousness in my life. I love discovering things. I love going running and just, you know, seeing a new animal or bird watching or whatever, you know, like those kind of things are what I want to have in my life. And then if I also create a list of the kind of art that I would desire to make, which it's easier to think about this and not actually do it. So it's, it's cheap to just write stuff down. I want to, I want to do work that is, um, landscape, maybe abstract landscape and, you know, based on organic forms and is more intuitive and drawing from what we have, like, what is this new art going to look like? We're going to look at our life and we're going to say, okay, well, forget about the kind of work I'm making now, but this new work, maybe it wants to be, you know, based on, you know, organic forms, right. You know, which relates to, you know, 
being out in nature, right? So those two things are aligned. Like that's why you're going to go out, you know, and you're going to see things that's going to inspire you and you're going to feed that into your work. You know, maybe discover, maybe, you know, discovery, that need to discover thing and being surprised by something that comes across your path. Maybe that means your work needs to be more intuitive. So these get added into this, into this new kind of work. Um, you know, having free time so you can do more stuff. Like maybe you need to work faster. Maybe this needs to be a more intuitive, faster process, right? Um, you know, maybe the scale needs to be big, you know? So it's like working out, you know, like being physical and do, maybe there's a physicality that's missing in your work that you can take tools and, and be more like texture tools and be more physical with it. This, thinking about your life and where it is and what's working for you, it, you've got to align that with the art and bring those things together. I mean, it, it won't happen by accident. I mean, it does slowly over time, but much faster if you can take from the lessons here and sh start shifting your work. Now, you're not going to come out with a completely different kind of work, but you are going to come out with work that's starting to move towards what you, you know, that's, that's it's more congruous with who you are. When you get that, when you make that happen, it is just so much... Um, it is so much more powerful and, and sustainable. And it's like, you know, you're just feeding rocket fuel into your practice and everything's informing everything else. It's no longer art becomes this thing that you're fighting against in your life and trying to free up time. It just flows with it. It comes out in conversations at parties. It comes out when you see things and you're taking pictures of things, you know, that you love in your day, then that informs your art. That's how you want to build it all. So it's all kind of coherent and all integrated. Um, this is about discernment and you're not gonna, you don't ever arrive actually. You, you just are, it's the process of getting better at better at knowing what you need to run your machine <laughs> to optimally live and what to, what the inputs are for your art so they can start working together. And that's discernment. That's the ability to choose. And that's a practice. And actually the practice of making art is this. This is what this is what it is. It's getting more, you know, the challenge, the, the problem that artists are solving is how better and better to communicate what, what you personally need to express for yourself more and more and more clearly, more and more clearly. And that's just this cool mystery that, you know, mine is totally different than yours, but that's what we are after. That's what we're all kind of after here. And um, this is kind of a, a cool way to sort it out. And it just makes everything easier and it makes really powerful art and it gets your momentum going, your energy going. Everything is a bigger yes when you start letting this be affected by this. Anyway, let me know how you solve this challenge, you know, how you get your... Um, how you shift your work so it's more feels more aligned with you. There's a million ways to do this and a million different kinds of work um, because there's a million different kinds of ways people are living and what's influencing them and what they love and what they choose. And that's why all the art is so darn different. So I'd love to hear your comments uh, below. So go ahead and leave a couple there. And um, for those of you who are new here, um, go ahead and download that uh, free color uh, tips PDF. Uh, there's some good good stuff in there about improving the color in your work. And um, thanks for being here. Okay, I hope your Sunday is um, full of discovery, mystery, and wonder. Okay, thanks.